It's Christy Carter, and I am standing here with Frank Martinez, the founder of Cuesta College in San Luis Obispo, California. And he just happened to be standing across the way, and I saw him, and we get to talk with him today. Well, I've been in community college work over 50 years. Hmm. And after, um, so anyway, this was a great privilege in my life to have been here from the very beginning and to be part of the organization of this institution that started with 458 students and now we have over 10,000. There was no junior college at that time other than the one that was in the high school district. Mm -hmm. But the high school district board was levying a tax of five cents but using it for the high school. Mm -hmm. So this is why the Higher Education Act of 1960 came in mm -hmm. because the boards were using junior college money for the high schools. The board said, we will give you a year to get organized. But when we came here, we found out that Hancock was offering classes here. And we said, get out of here because they were going to offer classes while we were here. Mm -hmm. So in two weeks, we organized what is now known as Cuesta College. We had no money at all to operate with. In fact, the very first day, we had a table and three chairs, a waste paper basket, and that's all we had to work with. We realized we had nothing, no paper, no nothing. So we said, how are we gonna do this? We have no money. So we went to the Board of Supervisors and borrowed $5,000 to buy pens, pencils, paper, letterheads, whatever. How have you seen it change? It must be amazing for you to get to watch that transformation. It's been very satisfying, very gratifying, and uh, a great experience. Thank you. Okay. I'm so glad you were standing there. <laughs>